Lawmakers gave the nuclear subsidy bill a makeover, and the tweaked version now adds supports for solar and offshore wind, green renewable energy sources. But its heart's still nuclear, asking ratepayers to provide $300 million a year for PSEG Salem County reactors. The company says it can't compete against cheap natural gas and will have to close the plants without a ratepayer subsidy. But not everyone agrees. We need to look at, are they unprofitable? If they're going to become unprofitable, when is that likely going to happen? Ratepayers are not a bottomless pit. There is a limit to how much we can pay and, and keep living in the state affordably, keep businesses uh, operating in the state. The Division of Rate Council is alarmed because PSEG refuses to open its books and prove financial need. The bill actually shields access to PSEG's financial information. Only the Board of Public Utilities gets to look at that. PSEG calls the data proprietary and says it's an unregulated industry, not subject to the Rate Council's oversight. If we made that information available, we would just accelerate the demise of these plants. Having said that, what this bill does is create a maximum, a cap, and gives the BPU flexibility to spend less than that cap. This only provides a process. There is no guaranteed set subsidy. It guarantees a process to be reviewed. And if the plants were to close, then a subsidy would be made available by the BPU, and the BPU would determine that. We're completely committed to keeping those nukes open as long as they're run safely until their last uh, allowable day. Too many jobs at stake. It's the biggest bridge to a 100% clean energy future. The bill's supporters note it refocuses on green renewable energy at Governor Murphy's request. It looks at strengthening the electric grid and its storage capacity, rework subsidies for solar and wind, but could also raise rates, sponsors admit. Everyone wants a clean environment. The environment has a cost. They said that they were going to deal with other forms of energy, and all they did is give themselves green cover in a bill that's really about taking money from the ratepayers and subsidizing PSCNG. Average ratepayers would pony up 40 bucks more a year, but some fear the bill's unaffordable for manufacturers. Some of my members, the additional cost of this nuclear tax would be over $700,000 a year just for one facility. On average, most of my facilities will probably be paying between $150,000 to $500,000 in new energy bills. And I don't know how that attracts people to come and set up businesses and expand in New Jersey. The committee didn't vote on the bill. It moves to the Appropriations Committee for consideration on February 5th, and there will probably be more changes. In Trenton, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.